Hello, my name is Mireille Giuliano. I'm the author of French Women Don't Get Back Cookbook, the third of the French Women series. Uh, well, I'm often asked what, what is this cookbook about, and I, I almost would like to say what it is not, because it's not your regular cookbook with lots of fancy photographs. And uh, First of all, because I'm not a chef and I don't take myself seriously, and I feel like, as a businesswoman, uh, I'm not that interested in, in cooking, you know, spending four hours to make dinner and have a lot of ingredients and a lot of gadgets and spend a lot of money. And I think I spend all my life making very simple meals, but good meals. And I like in closing and everything else in life, if you have a couple of good ingredients, you know, you can make good things. And again, you don't have to serve caviar or foie gras and spend a lot of money. Uh, you need three vegetables and you can make a big pot of soup and feed a family with a slice of bread and a piece of cheese and fruit, so you have a meal. Uh, the cookbook is based really on a line that comes from my bio, which always makes people laugh and is about my favorite hobbies are breakfast, lunch, and dinner. <laughs> In a way, they are, because as a French person, you know, the stereotype of the French woman don't get fat is that I have three meals a day and I, c I, I really can't skip them. If I skip them, I'm off balance and I don't work well and I don't think well. And breakfast is a very important one. And so the, the book is based on breakfast, lunch, and dinner, but also you can have any of those dishes for any of the meal. You know, it's not in today's world, there's no such structure anymore as the old fashioned, you know, dinner time or lunch time in France. So there are a lot of anecdotes and, and stories about, which I learned from, from the first book and the second book and sort of made me think about what people were lacking uh, or could use to to eat uh, in a more healthy way because obviously uh, you know all the things all the diet books don't work the the health pyramid about eating more fruit and vegetable don't don't work so how would it work and to me work one of the things that that could work is to show people that they should not be intimidated by cooking um, so, like in my first book, I had at the end of the book, you know, all the things that French women do to not get fat. At the end of this book, I have my own definition of, of what cooking is about, and it might uh, astonish some people. Uh, they might not have thought about it that way, and then they can add it to their own list. But the recipes are basically very simple, very few ingredients, so that you can make dinner in 20 minutes or 30 minutes at most and have a balanced meal. And also, um, I really make an emphasis on breakfast because, um, where was it yesterday? I just heard that, oh, it was a joke on one of the TV show about uh, a survey, actually, a real survey that was taken in America on obese people, and they found that most of them don't have breakfast, which personally does not surprise me because, you know, a lot of people think they don't need breakfast or they don't want breakfast, but then they eat a big lunch or a big dinner or they binge or they have sweets during the day because your body, your metabolism is uh, has a need for something in the morning, even if it's just, a, you know, two tablespoons of yogurt or a piece of toast or a cup of coffee because you spend the night and you're dehydrated and you need some fuel. I mean, it's almost like if you run a, drive a car with no gasoline in it. So my, my emphasis on breakfast is very, very strong and I have my sort of equivalent of the magical leak bars, which was a great jump start in the first book to get you back on track and start looking at food in a different way and, and trying to lose a few pounds if you need to. It's a breakfast that is full, complete, because it, it combines, uh, which we need in every meal, some carbs, some protein, and some fat, a little bit of each. And uh, if you have that, you know, first of all, it's very easy to make, and uh, it's delicious to eat, and then you won't be hungry until, you know, 2 o'clock. So you'll have a good energy for the morning, and then you won't feel like you have to have a big lunch or a big dinner even. So it's, it's yet an, another approach of how we French people tend to uh, be obsessed by food, but in a way they help us getting, uh, get more energy and be healthier to, to face life and work balance. So it's, it's more, again, holistic and, and an approach to very similar to the message I had in my, 
in my previous books, which are, of course, uh, all aiming at the same thing, being bien en sapo, which is key to key to life, really. And and we never achieve it perfectly, but you know the 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 closer we are to that, the better we feel and the better we work and the better we are as human beings. <laughs>